How do you teach a computer to trade stocks? First, teach it to park a car. Artificial neural networks, machine learning, AI. It seems like not a day goes by that we don't hear these terms popping up in tech news. And it's no wonder, as we're now in an era in which, at least with some machines, we no longer have to write programs. We just have to teach new skills. That's the goal, anyway. To create machines that operate in a way similar to how our brains work. The machines aren't thinking. At least, they aren't thinking the way you and I think. But they are attempting to find the best solution to a problem. This could involve countless trial and error runs in which a computer runs a simulation or even starts a real-world series of events and observes the results. The computer weights the decision that leads to positive results more heavily than those that were, let's say, less successful. But some computer scientists like Jürgen Schmidhuber are branching out a bit. Rather than developing a machine that's really good at one type of problem solving, Schmidhuber is working on artificial intelligence that can learn how to do many things. In fact, switching up what the machine is learning is the crux of his strategy. Schmidhuber has launched a company called Nascence SA. The company is creating AI programs and then applying those programs to many different kinds of problems. One scenario might involve navigating a car through a complicated city to find the most efficient route, even in dynamic traffic conditions. Another might require the AI to examine a commodity like steel and search for any manufacturing flaws. Schmidhuber's theory is that by giving machines that can learn many different problems, the machine's learning abilities improve. That means each time you give the machine a new problem, it can learn how to solve it more quickly and effectively than it would if you had just built a device to handle that problem from scratch. If you think this sounds a bit like the way we humans learn, you're right. When we encounter an entirely new experience, we try to apply whichever of our past experiences seem most relevant. We might be a little cautious in attempting any new actions in an unfamiliar environment, but as humans, we're inventive and we can make surprising use of previously learned skills in new ways. Schmidhuber wants to see the same results with machines. The company plans to contract with other organizations. The basic AI will learn how to operate in a multitude of different industries. As it does, it will improve its understanding of how stuff works. It can then apply that understanding in future environments. In theory, it becomes more effective the more you use it. It's still not really thinking, though. The machine doesn't have motivations or desires, and there will likely be some stumbling blocks along the way. But the same is true with us. We humans haven't exactly had a perfectly smooth ride from the discovery of fire to launching people into space, so I think it's fair to ask that we cut the machines a little slack. I can't help but imagine a future in which computers seem almost eager to take on a new challenge, because each problem it tackles makes it more effective for future problems. My guess is that it will take decades before we see computers effectively in charge of just about everything. And I imagine we humans will be sitting back on our rocking chairs on the front porch, proud of how well our computer creations are doing. That's my vision of the future, but what's yours? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show. If you enjoyed learning about Schmidt Huber's project, give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the forward-thinking think tank. I'll see you in the future.